Okay, today is gonna be a different video than usual because I'm planning some really nice things at the moment. I am planning on doing a podcast and I'm gonna interview and have a conversation with people from the seven from the community and we're gonna talk about topics like OFAP, um, yeah, fitness, self improvement, of course, um, reading books and building confidence, just improving your life. So, yeah, I hope you're excited for that. And in this video, I want to talk about that I don't really fit in with other people my age. And I realize that every day when I go to school, I just hear. <laughs> Like even today it's a perfect example. Um you know I'm trying to build social connections, trying to be socially active because I used to have no friends for a really long time. But I think it's actually better it might actually be better to not have anyone to talk to. Only have a few people to talk to than have a bunch of random people that are just not good for you and that you don't even like, that are just doing stupid shit. Um yeah, and like I said, today was a perfect example. Um, went to school, I uh, was talking to some people, and a girl told me that her friend uh, was fucking smoking weed in front of the school, like before the school started, started. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I was talking to her, and she, and she was like, oh yeah, I have some problems. And when I, was, I, forgot, I was like, what's the problem? Like, I want to talk about it. And then she was like, oh no, I forgot them because of smoking weed. And then she was like, I'm just going to smoke again after school. And I was like, Okay, well, if you want to talk about it, let me know. I didn't say anything to her, but I was just like thinking, what the fuck is going on? Like, you're like 14 or 15 years old, I think, and you're smoking weed during the school time, in front of the school and after the school. And then I'm just here trying my best, fighting anxiety every day, self improvement, working out, not taking any drugs, not drinking, not smoking. Reading books, trying to build wealth, trying to build a good body, trying to do everything right. And these people are casually smoking weed and also drinking in school and in front of school before the school starts. And I just don't fit into that. And it's not just only one or two persons, it's literally the whole 8th, ninth, and 10th grade. Even people in my class recently started smoking cigarettes in front of school. When they walk into the classroom, they're fucking smelling like shit. And also casually drinking alcohol during the week, also on the weekends, and smoking weed and taking other drugs. And then they're wondering why they're depressed and why they don't know what to do with their life. Which, if they don't know what to do with their life, is kind of fine. Because I don't even know. <laughs> Um, it's like, if you want to feel good, don't indulge into habits that are bad for you. Everyone knows taking drugs, drinking alcohol isn't a good habit, isn't a good thing to do. Everyone knows only sleeping two hours a day isn't good. Everyone knows spending eight hours a day on your phone, scrolling on TikTok isn't good. Staying aside all day, not getting... Uh, fresh air, not getting sunlight, not working out, not um, yeah, not doing sports, eating junk food, everyone knows those things aren't good. But still they do them and then they wonder why, and they wonder why they're feeling bad. It makes no sense to me, the, the solution is right in front of you. It makes me really sad. And like again, I try to... I don't know why, but I just want to help a bunch of people. That's also the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel. And I was, I was like talking to the girl, like, if you want to talk about it, like, let me know. Like, talking about it is probably better than smoking weed. And, and then, like, hey, no, hey. And, like, and then she's like, oh, I'm so depressed. And I'm, like, I'm sorry to hear that. And in my mind, I'm just thinking, of course you are. Look at what, if, what you have been doing the past months, years. I don't know, maybe I'm being too hard, 
on those people, like I'm being too hard on myself um, or my friends and family because everyone can do what they want, everyone can live how they want and no one has to live like me doing self-improvement but I don't get it how they, how they then can complain about feeling bad when they're doing such things I don't get it. Like, it's so obvious, like I said before. And most people will probably realize in a couple of years, when they're working in the normal 9 to 5, making 2k a month, maybe 2.5k a month, and they finish all the studies, and they've been smoking weed and drinking alcohol and eating junk food and spending 10 hours a day on social media, they will realize that they're not going to feel well, and they're not even feeling well right now. And for some reason, they won't stop doing those bad activities. I completely destroyed my mental health with porn, junk food, getting fat, not talking to anyone, keeping everything for myself. I completely destroyed myself. And I realized, also playing video games 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, and sleeping 3 hours, and then before going to bed, jerking off 3 times, and when I wake up, I jerk off 5 times. Not even, not even joking, it used to be like that. I was like, why am I feeling so bad? What, what the fuck is going on with this anxiety? Why, do I, why am I in a constant, constant state of a panic attack and it doesn't go away? I feel, I feel so bad right now too, but it has certainly gotten better and I'm working on myself, so it's, it's alright. I was like really depressive and really neg a lot of negative thoughts. I, I still have them to this day, I'm still suffering from me doing that shit. Um, for years and I stopped doing it one year ago and I'm still feeling shit after not doing them after doing the right things for one year and I only did the really bad things for about five years only but just imagine these people they will never like understand this they will never find the opportunity or have the luck to find self-improvement or to find to even think about this and I luckily found it and I'm really grateful for that because just imagine me doing all the bad habits I used to do one year ago still to this day I wouldn't look the way I look like I wouldn't feel the way I look like I wouldn't feel the way I feel <laughs> I would have nothing the only thing I would have is level 500 in a video game and a couple of online friends I would have a shit body and I would feel shit I wouldn't even have a girlfriend I wouldn't have made so many Nice experiences last year and this year with other people, meeting new people, pushing myself constantly to go out of my comfort zone. I would still rock around with a fucking mask on. I wouldn't be, even be able to record this video right now and look into the fucking camera and see myself and not fucking get a panic attack because of the way I look. All of this, you wouldn't even see this. I'm really, I'm really worried about the generation and people my age. Because for them it's only gonna get worse. My life is slowly getting better. I'm, feeling, I'm slowly feeling better, I'm slowly looking better, I'm slowly improving uh, my life areas. And those people, they won't stay here. They will go down. Oh, just another party, just another... Uh, just one night of drinking alcohol, taking drugs. Oh, today, again, oh, again, 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 again. Watching porn again, again, again. Just as the run level's going down. Eating junk food. You slowly get uh, more fat. You slowly get, yeah, you lose muscle if you even have muscle or you have no muscle. And you get bigger, bigger, bigger. And these don't stop because they don't realize. Um... And the argument I always hear is, it's not that bad, it's just fun. And I understand that, not gonna lie. When I used to drink, it was fun for me. Playing video games used to be fun for me. Jerking off, it used to be fun for me. That's the reason why I did it, because it was so much fun. But in the modern day, what is fun doesn't equal good. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. And when we go back to, um, to tribal times or to, yeah, if we go a thousand years back, it used to be like that, that what we do and what feels good is good. 
but it doesn't, it's like that anymore. For example, a caveman, he felt good on the way to, um, to a lake to get water or, on, or hunting, a, hunting an animal. He felt good doing that. And it was productive, it was important for the tribe, it was, a, it was necessary to survive. And these days, it feels good to watch porn. Is it good for you? No. So the advice, do what feels good, it doesn't work anymore. So I would do what feels good, I would just eat junk food all day, play video games all day, jog off all day. I wouldn't work out because working out is pain in my, um, my body. It's annoying. I don't want to work out every day. I don't even want to work out at all, to be honest, because every time I do it, it's just pain. Do I cry about it? No. I still get on the fucking ground and do 20 push-ups. It hurts in my arms. So what? I can't sit here and bitch about it. I can't sit here and do nothing with my life and then wonder why I'm feeling bad. This is what life is about. It's supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. You're supposed to fight to not indulge into bad habits that make you feel good in the moment. Also, I preached about it so much on my channel. Instant gratification, delay gratification. Instant gratification, something that feels good in the moment. Junk food, eating chocolate. I still do that, to be honest. Um, jogging off, watching porn, video games, drinking, drugs, all feels good in the moment. You have no worries, you're feeling happy, you're excited, you're having fun. Delay gratification, not eating the junk food, not taking drugs, not playing video games, not jogging off, not drinking alcohol, or if it's good or if it's bad in that moment, but it will benefit your life in the long run. Delayed gratification. And that's what all that's what life is about, that's what self-improvement is about. Delaying gratification. If you delay gratification, if you don't drink alcohol on that night, you maybe won't have as much fun as the others have. But your life will certainly improve in the long run. You won't feel shit the next day. You won't put on much weight because alcohol actually has a lot of calories. You won't fuck your brain cells up. You, you won't be addicted to it. It gets better in the long run. Um, it's okay to indulge in the instant gratification sometimes. I do with junk food. I like to eat chocolate, I like to eat cake, I like to eat out and I like to drink some, I sometimes like to drink soft drinks, usually I drink water. But to be honest, it would be better for me if I didn't. And I know that. And every time, every time I eat the junk food, I feel bad afterwards. I'm like, in my mind, my mind is like, why did you do that? You know you want to lose weight. Maybe not lose weight, but you know you want to get leaner. You know you want that six pack. You know what you really know you want to build muscle. You know you want to build muscle. Why did you eat that chocolate cake instead of not eating it? And then later eating something good uh, with a lot of protein and something that is healthy. And I know that, and I still did it. What happens? I feel bad after. Is the gratification? After doing it, I feel bad. Delayed by gratification, if I didn't eat that, I would feel really good. I would like, I would be like, yeah, I didn't indulge into the bad habits. I tricked my mind to not eat that shit. And tomorrow, or maybe in the long run, it's not something that happens overnight, of course. If I don't eat the chocolate cake, I won't have a six pack tomorrow. But if I, if I delay the chocolate cake for three months straight, or maybe one month straight, and other junk foods, I will lose weight, and my six pack will get revealed. And what is more important, having a taste in your mouth for a couple of seconds, having fun, maybe having a nice night with, uh, with alcohol, three, three, maybe four hours of fun. But in the long run, you feel shit. If I eat the chocolate cake today, I won't have a six pack in the future. And I don't think it's worth it to indulge into instant gratification 
and sacrifice something much more important, much better in the long run. I want that fucking six pack. I would do anything for it. And still I'm here choosing instant gratification and having a taste for 10 seconds in my mouth instead of feeling amazing, looking amazing, having confidence and feeling like the fucking best because no one else has a six pack. And it's not supposed to be easy. That's that then everyone would have it and it would have no value. It's supposed to be hard because it is so hard to to um, say no to it's a gratification. Because, like I said, most people just do what feels good. But you, you can't live that way anymore, sadly. And coming back to yeah, the people of our school, just us over here, instant gratification, drinking, 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 eating junk food, eating junk food, eating junk food. Some of them work out, which is great. It's delayed gratification. You have pain in your arms, but you look better in the long run. It takes a lot of time and patience and effort and discipline and mental strength. Amazing. Most people are just here, 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 here. Smoking, 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 because they think they're cool. Drinking energy drinks, uh, eating chocolate, drugs, partying, not studying. And the life will slowly get worse. And if you over this side, it will slowly get better. If I tell people this in real life, they will probably think I'm crazy, or I'm lying, or I'm stupid, or I'm um, cocky. Like even in my class, when I'm trying to um, talk about like seven proven topics, or I'm talking about things that are wrong with this world, and how everyone just here, here, here. When I say in class that I don't drink alcohol and I don't drink drugs, they say it's cringe. They say it's cringe, and I'm trying to argue against that, and they're like. Bro, you cringe. Why the fuck are you trying? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're so weird. Like, bro, are you stupid? Wake the fuck up. What the fuck is wrong with you? They don't understand. They don't want to understand. Makes me so sad and angry. I, I want to help these people. But they have to, it has to click in their mind. And I can't, I can't do that for them. They don't want to, they, no one is here to a 17 year old boy. Who's just fucking around in life, you know? Which I can also understand. But the nice thing is we're going to see in a couple of years. Maybe two years, maybe five years, maybe ten years. You're going to see me up here. And I promise you that. I will be up here. Amazing body. Really good mental health. Meditating every day. day journaling every day. Working out every day. With my beautiful girlfriend. Um, forgot. I thought too much about my girlfriend, fuck. <laughs> forgot what, what I wanted to say. Distraction. <laughs> God, so distracting is. Okay, back to the topic. Um, flying around the world. Having a nice career. Making a lot of money. And having a lot of free time. And flexibility. And then, they're gonna look up to me. And say, it was all luck. It was all luck, bro. It was all luck that you invested into that thing. It was all luck that you got that body. It was all luck that you were um, in Thailand, in Japan, in Greece with your girlfriend, flying around the world. And having a nice time. It was all luck. Like, no, it wasn't. Look back, the, look back, then, I to, I, look back then, I told you. Instant gratification, delayed gratification. You chose instant gratification. And look at you now, normal 9 to 5, which is not, I'm not blaming that, if you were happy with that, it's alright, but I wouldn't be satisfied with it. Normal 9 to 5, bad mental health, bad body, probably not even a partner. If you have a partner, probably you're not happy in that relationship. Normal home, kids with 25, midlife crisis. And I'm flying around the world with my beautiful girlfriend. Feeling amazing, looking amazing, I, I told you. And it's gonna be like that. The haters are gonna say, I'm cocky, I'm arrogant, I'm delusional, I'm not being realistic. Small money people. No one believes in me. My family doesn't believe in me. 
I told him about being an entrepreneur, I told him about uh, being self-employed. But at this time, so much can happen. You can go broke, you can lose everything, you can... This, 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 this. So what? I can try again. I, I'm 17, I can try what the fuck I want. I can do what the fuck I want. I have my whole life ahead of me. You think I'm gonna work uh, for 40 years? Um, every day for 8 hours in a job that I maybe don't even enjoy with someone else that gets paid much more while I'm doing all the work and I don't have any free time any freedom and any money and I live in a normal flat no it's not gonna happen I believe in myself I know I can do it I have so much potential I just need to stay stay on track and don't give up also the way I'm feeling with the light and stuff like that. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks that I feel this way right now. I have really bad anxiety right now. And um, really negative thoughts. But I just keep fighting against it. And hard times create strong men. And diamonds are made under immense pressure. I'm always under pressure. I always, always feel like I have to move. I always have to... 20 push-ups, 20 push-ups, 20 push-ups, come on, read that book, read the book, come on, go meditate. I'm opening YouTube, I'm closing it after a minute again, what the fuck are you doing, come on, there's work to do. 20 push-ups, 20 push-ups, 20 push-ups, record a YouTube video, go outside, uh, go rock skipping, go on a walk, go to your grandparents, spend time with them before they pass away. Um, yeah, go talk to your friends, go talk to your girlfriend, go spend time with your girlfriend, go... Do things that are important to you. Okay, that was 22 minutes of talking, ranting. I didn't even know what I was, what I'm gonna name this video. It was originally gonna be called uh, I Don't Fit In, but it just became a whole rant about society, um, my generation. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you got some value out of this video and you understand me. Um, I would like some feedback in the comments, positive or negative, criticism, everything is welcomed. You can also argue my points with instant gratification, delayed gratification. And I, yeah, I hope I can see you in the next video and don't forget the new, um, new format is coming, the podcast kind of thing. I will probably also upload it to Spotify, which is going to be really nice, and there's going to be a lot of valuable information in that. And I'm going to talk to lots of different people about self improvement, young, old, long and self improvement, short and self improvement, um, everything. Okay, so keep that in mind, and thank you for watching.